days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Where the stars inside the sky We're the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 18th of December until the 24th of December 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Ten of Cups. All family members are getting along with each other and there is a lot of happiness and love shared. No one is fighting or causing any tension. Instead, it is an environment of peace and happiness that lends itself to warm and loving relations. The presence of the Ten of Cups may even reflect an upcoming family holiday where you can rest and relax together, creating fun and happy family memories. There may be a family reunion or a family celebration where members of your extended family come together. This is a wonderful time to bond with your family and lay the foundation for a happy and harmonious future together. The Ten of Cups is also a very positive card in terms of romantic relationships and may indicate either the beginning of a new, very happy relationship, or the ultimate satisfaction of a long-term relationship. Commitment and love are the requirements of such satisfaction, yet this card promises that with the required effort a lasting love can be built. The time will also be made for the enjoyment of pleasures, which may be shared with another person whom you love. Outside of relationships and the family, the Ten of Cups is also reflective of your personal values system and what you believe will bring you the ultimate fulfillment and happiness in your life. This card represents a time when you are very clear on where your personal beliefs and values lie and you have successfully created a life that is aligned to those values. It may reflect a spiritual or religious person who lives in peace and harmony. It may also reflect strong family values that were instilled within you early in life which are now helping you to create a fulfilling lifestyle. The Ten of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and go with your intuition about where the best opportunities lie. As an intuitive person, you know that you can trust your gut feeling to guide you. When you feel truly happy and inspired about something, you know that that is the way to go. Aim to seek out opportunities that make you feel fulfilled and that are aligned with your personal values rather than simply following the path that others expect you to take. You have to do what feels right to you and you only. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Nine of Cups. What do you want most right now is to be happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, 
and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Ten of Wands. You are afraid and unnecessarily holding on to this burden when you do not need to. If you are feeling weighed down by your present circumstances, look at different ways you can lighten the load. Can you delegate certain tasks and responsibilities? Are you worrying about matters that do not concern you or cannot be changed? Do not become a martyr and take on more than you can realistically handle. If you are going through a challenging time, then the Ten of Wands indicates that this time will soon pass and you will feel less of a burden weighing on your shoulders. You may be actively identifying those activities that do not bring you any value in your life and you are starting to release yourself from these unnecessary responsibilities. You may even be going through a purging process, clearing out old clothes and selling old furniture, in order to declutter and simplify your life. You will benefit from better organization and prioritization at this time. On the other hand, you might be avoiding responsibility and making it even more difficult for others who must take on your share. Thus, the saying, you have made your bed, now lie in it, is very appropriate for this card. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the king of swords. You need to remain detached and objective in a specific situation in order to ascertain the truth and seek out only the facts. You need to use your intellect to prove your point and succeed. Your education and experience are important but so are your day-to-day -day observations and thoughts. You can also solve problems by using history, rules, laws and diplomacy. You need to adopt a very stern but fair role. You have clarity of mind and can perceive the truth right now, so you must take the lead with providing an objective point of view. You are well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify the limiting behaviors that are getting the way. This is a time when you need to leave emotions out of it, and remain as objective and rational as possible. You may need to reason with others and be quite direct about what you are observing. You may be concerned that you are not being particularly caring or sympathetic but at this point in time, this detachment is what is needed most. Similarly, the King of Swords encourages you to use your logic and intellect to navigate your path ahead. You will need to get to the heart of the matter, make firm and well-researched decisions, and ensure that you are firm but fair in your dealings with others. You need to be able to take any situation, look at it with total impartiality, and then come to a decision that is both fair and insightful. This king is also a man of the highest ethical standards. It is impossible to corrupt him and as such he acts as a pillar of strength who gives sound advice to everyone, no matter who they are. What is more, he firmly expects others to operate by the rules of the law and will not tolerate others who break the law. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the king of wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life who is from fire signs, who can be dominating, pushy, and overbearing at times. This is rarely done with malice or an intention to make someone else submissive, 
it is just a strong tendency that sometimes takes control. He does not even realize when he or she crosses the line between being assertive and aggressive. At worst, the King of Wands typifies the most selfish, ruthless qualities of fire. He can denote a manipulative business contact who will use you as long as it serves his purpose. He may be a rival, competitor or unscrupulous opponent. In love, he represents a delightful flirtation that could wreak emotional havoc. He is only suitable for limited liaisons, holiday romances or brief, passionate encounters. His flames are bright and warm but soon die down. As an aspect of yourself, the King of Wands can suggest that you have set your expectations of yourself too high and may struggle to achieve those expectations. As such, you may end up feeling like a failure because you have not been able to achieve what you want in both areas of your life. Set more realistic goals for yourself and know that you cannot do everything nor please everyone. There may also be times when you become frustrated with the lack of progress in your endeavors, particularly if this is being influenced by your dependence on others. You may find that there are some people who are holding you back and preventing you from fully realizing your dreams and goals. If this is the case, it is best to cut them loose as no amount of energy will change their perspective. You may also need to be a bit more lenient on others and accept that not everyone has as much energy and drive as you to achieve results. Accept what they have to offer and do not expect anything more. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Ten of Pentacles. You finally reach a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path, more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances, to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. This card shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition, being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. It provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles. You feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. This card reflects permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Muriel. Right now you're focused on maintaining good relations with people around you, and you're an invaluable support to them. Muriel can help you assert yourself a little more and say what you really think. You have a tendency to keep your thoughts to yourself too much lately. Unfortunately, this behavior leads to the present type of issue. You must find the courage to tell people what you have in your heart, even if the timing isn't ideal. The truth is good, so stop trying to avoid it. 
I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.